afternoon, welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Evening show, evening and evening everybody, how is everyone? Uh, listen, uh, again, uh, late, it's just been one of those days, it has literally been one of those days. One of those days where you get a phone call from someone, he says, hey bro, hey, how are you? I was thinking, well, I don't recognise the number, who are you? It's just been one of those days, people. But I do apologize for being like uh, almost half an hour late. We're going to be reviewing the news of today from a Canon 40 perspective, a repeat, a repetition of the morning show. We're going to be going through the players who Arsenal and Edu have highlighted that most likely they're going to be going out. Yeah, going out. We're going to show them the door by force or by, I don't know. I don't know. We're also going to be reviewing some comments, some stern comments about a player or players who are over the age of 26, when they're not cutting it and they're not doing the business, they're killing us. Large wages. I don't know who Edu is talking about. And there was a game today behind closed doors. Why behind closed doors? I have no idea. But we're going to get into this show. I repeat on this show on the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeedy. Welcome back again to Canon for the TV, the channel for Arsenal fans, literally all over this world of ours. El mundo, the world. Anyhow, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the evening show here, the yeah, Canon for TV, our channel. We're going to be going through some of the comments. Uh, coming to the live chat, you can see it's like running powder to me. I can see. My moderator for the evening show, actually, sometimes he falls asleep, so you do have to excuse him for that. Isn't that is that not a sickness? I think that that actor who played um uh, in in uh, Dad's Army, Arthur Lowe, he suffered from that illness. There, he always fell asleep. I kid you not. I think sometimes actually D does fall asleep. So you gotta you know apologize for that. I apologize for that. And um, <laughs> we're going to be going <laughs> into the vote, the voting that we've been doing. Who's going to be the, the, the likeliest next new sign-in? Who's going to be the next sign-in, most likely? Who's going to be the next sign-in, do you think? Carry on voting. I think we're like 1,600 votes in. Keep voting. And last but not least, it does say somewhere down here to subscribe. Subscribe to Canon for your TV. So now let's get into this one. I'll tell you what, stern words from um, this gentleman here, if I can find him. Where is he? Well, it's about it's about this player anyway, at least. Oh, Lordy. Oh, listen, I've titled this one Pepe on the Edge. I tell you what, Pepe has insisted that he will he has still harbour hopes of turning things around in the capital in a brutally honest Instagram. Oh, honest Instagram post. Wow, my goodness. Why didn't you speak to me? That would have been serious. He wrote, I worked hard during the summer. Changed a lot of things. I'm focused and determined with Arsenal and my teammates. Thinking, wow, it means business. Anyway, his stance could change, though, after um, reading Edu's comments on several big salary players, or that Edu didn't mention the players by names. Uh, who have uh, underperformed and been killing the club in recent years, a uh, category that maybe Pepe uh, would fall into. Now, speaking on the, uh, the club's pre-season tour, Edu said, Edu said, if a guy is performing and has a big salary, that's not a problem. When a player is 26 plus, big salary, and has not been performing, he is killing you. You don't have evaluation to sell the player. The player is comfortable. Arsenal, London, Beautiful. Everything is fantastic and a good salary. Now, again, he didn't mention Nico Pepe, but Nico Pepe fits into that profile. Over the age of 26, on a big amount of money, money that I would love to be on, but my days, are even thinking about playing for Arsenal, are long since gone to the distance. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Nico Pepe, 
the, I don't even know what to say, to be honest. <laughs> I don't even... I've tried to come at this situation, Nico Pepe, at different angles. And I just can't... I can't see it, man. I can't see it. I saw someone put some snippets of a... Reese Nelson playing for fine order and he scored a wonderful goal there. He's just kind of coming from deep. I mean, wow, where'd he come from? From the deep. Scored kind of flanked right <laughs> and he shot um, down to the goalkeeper's left. But I would far rather give the opportunity to Reese Nelson than uh, Nico Pepe. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm tired of mentioning our number 19, much like the number 34. Make it sound like buses, isn't it? Number 19 bus and number 34 bus. I'm getting to that point now. Nico Pepe, even, at, you know, now that we're back in Europe, in the in Europa League, I'm thinking, could he feature there? Not so much in the Premier League. Just thinking, no, 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 I'm sorry. But Edu, man, serious words there. Serious words. And then we're going to go into um, the players that have been highlighted at least. Um, to be shown the exit door or maybe put out on loan again. Those to go. Ainsley Maitland-Niles was previously linked with an exit door before staying put. Uh, that said, Maitland-Niles has been unable to improve like any many expected and questions remains over uh, where his best position is. The 24-year-old. I still can't believe he's still only 24 years of age. They spent time away on loan at West Bromwich Albion and then AS Roma with Maureen. Then uh, there's, there's there's this player here that kind of annoys me as well, Hector Bellerin. Not so much him, it's more the club. Him, Hector Bellerin, has said that he wants to leave Arsenal. But yeah, Arsenal give him the captain's armband, stuck him on the plane to go in the pre-season, and the player is still adamant that he wants to leave Arsenal. Why, Arsenal? Why? Doesn't make any sense. And just a few months ago, we've spoken about Reese Nelson. They also uh, academy. Uh, I, can't, I can't say that word. Uh, academy, academy product is full of potential. There's yet to be unlocked, and the Gunners may decide to cash in. I don't think so. The such here uh, is their depth in attack with uh, Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli ahead of him in the pecking order. Nelson has been forced to head out on loan a couple of times. Last term he was at fine old and with opportunities set to be a, a, a premium this season. The winger is still young enough to command a hefty fee. Again. I'll, I'll take the hit, you know, loan out or sell uh, Pepe for a, a massive loss and let Reese Nelson have his day in the sun. Yeah. Next player, Florian Balogun, a highly rated forward. Last season, he was sent out uh, to the Borough, Millsborough, to get first team experience and scored just three times in 20 outings. Not the greatest. Not the greatest of returns there. But uh, Balogun previously excelled in Arsenal's youth ranks and uh, the club will be keen to see how he develops. So a permanent exit looks unlikely. Another loan spell may well be on the cards, though uh, after Gabby Jesus' arrival uh, and winning the number nine, how dare he, and Eddie Nketiah penned in a new deal, winning the number 14. People getting upset about that. Come on, get over it. Get over it. Uh, I most likely believe that he'll be put out on loan. I can't see him be a short start. Maybe. Maybe for, again, the Europa League um, to bump up the squad, squad rotation. Then the next one, again, annoyance at the club. Pablo Mali spent a part of uh, last season out with Udinese in order to find some minutes. Having been overlooked at the Emirates, Arteta's back four has been further bolstered by the return of uh, Robert Saliba, meaning Pablo Mali has slipped further down the pecking order. The 28-year-old has never been able to establish himself, establish himself with the Gunners, and the two parties may well cut ties. Next one on the hit list is uh, Bernd Leno, who I understand is uh, on the verge of leaving and actually going to Fulham at a cut price of £8 million. Imagine that. Uh, last but not least, uh, Lucas Torreira. Torreira. Um, yeah, Lucas uh, is uh, uh, our player, Arteta declared recently. However, the player may well want out. And it remains to be seen where he sits in the pecking order. Also having a savage pay in the midfield, as well as um, several <coughs> backup options. It means Torreira, uh, who has spent the last two seasons out on loan at Atletico Madrid and Florentina, may struggle for minutes and seek an exit. Well, there is a video, a, video, a photo of him. Uh, I can't remember the, the, the ex-teammate he is with. Listen, he's also a player who doesn't want to play for Arsenal. And as I understand it, I don't he didn't he didn't play any games in the preseason. He didn't play any games at all. 
Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And within the last um, few, let's say, minutes, I managed to kind of scrap together one more new segment. And that new segment is Arsenal played a game behind closed doors. And somebody said, why behind closed doors? I've got no idea. We lost 2-1. Uh, who scored a goal for us? It was Eddie and Ketia. So that was the 11 that played. Turner, Cedric, uh, Tina Turner, sorry, Cedric, uh, Walter, Owe, I think that's how you say his uh, fir uh, first name, I think. Uh, Holding, Tavares uh, was um, <coughs> oh, subbed on 76 minute for Sousa. Onani, Lokonga, Maitland Niles, Patino, Marquinhos, Nelson uh, was also, I think, he, was he subbed on a 90th minute? Uh, I think, what does that mean? Anyway, oh yeah, and, and Katia. Am I worried about this? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I mean, look at the 11. It wasn't the strongest of 11s, was it, that we put out there? So don't get too upset. We lost. We lost. Behind closed doors, I have no idea. No idea why it was behind closed doors. So um, those have been the new segments coming on, currently running on Canon Foy TV. I can't get my words out. Currently running on Canon Foy TV. Academy. 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 Infamy, infamy. They've all got it in infamy. Anyhow, yeah, so these are all the new segments currently running on Canon Foy TV on this, what is it, Wednesday, Wednesday evening show over here. Um, let's see how far we get on this one. I've got a funny thing, there'll be an even shorter show than the afternoon show that I did for my mum's conservatory. Oh, I love my mum. I don't think she was happy that I rushed in, went straight into the living room, to borrow my sister's tripod, rushed into the conservatory, closed the door, bom bom, bim bam bosh, and start my live show. As well as that, my sister was saying that mum was doing this. I know. But I love you all the same, mum. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's go into the the poll, the, the voting that we've done. Uh, we did it started yesterday. Actually, I thought it was um early this morning, but it wasn't. So we have received actually one thousand six hundred votes. Again, thank you to you for voting. And uh, most likely next signing. Who do you think is the next signing that we're gonna get? Signing singular. Signings plural. There's an English grammar lesson there for you. Choose only one. <laughs> Out of these, Lucas Paqueta, Yuri Tillemans, Artemelo, Leroy Sani. 6% of the subscribers have voted for Artemelo. 8% have voted for Leroy Sani. 14% have voted for Lucas Paqueta. And 72%, down 1% from the afternoon show, Yuri Tillemans. I'll tell you this for now. Artur Mello is closer to the, the entrance of the Emirates than Yuri Tillemans. And I'll leave it right there. Okay. <laughs> Let's go into the live chat, shall we? Let's go into the live chat and see who's joining us on this one, shall we? Keep the comments clean, please. And um, I've got I've got my two moderators. Let's see if we see any actually anyone spamming the live chat. I mean, I've blocked that person or those people. So let's see if they actually appear in the live chat again. I've got I've got my two moderators as my first line of defense. I am the last line of defense here on the channel. <sighs> Let's see, let's see. Okay, we've got Ashley D says, um, hey, uh, welcome to the late, late California for the show. Thank you, Ashley. Hello, Alex and uh, Ashley D and the chat room says DWTT. Spurs, he says, good afternoon. He says, uh, people watching, not enough likes. If you're lurking in the back room, you should be liking. Looking, looking in the back. Is there someone behind me? He's behind you. <laughs> Where? If he's behind you, lurking in the, in the... Don't lurk, people. Just like. 
you can tell it's just been one of those days. It literally has been one of those days, just running from pillar to post. I will repeat the news of today, so don't worry about that. Come into the live chat. Any questions, anything you want to get off your chest? Arsenal related, that is. I don't want like people complaining about their husband and wives. And nah, we're not here for that. There's no counselling here. We're here just to talk about, actually, talking about, about Arsenal, you need counselling on that, don't you? To talk about Arsenal, you need to go to therapy. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, where, where's we? Uh, Ashley says, 30 goodness here today. Uh, let's hear any comments or questions. And remember to smash the like button. Uh, what's uh, Edu uh, said further? Well, the thing is, uh, Spursy, I, I've tried to not to splurge on everything that Edu has said. I've just kind of taken bits and pieces that I'm going to talk about, you know, for the next few days. I can't, you know, talk about everything that he spoke about. But I just managed to pick up on his comments where he spoke about certain players who are over the age of 26, 20, 26 plus, who are not doing it. They're killing the club. Life is so wonderful here at Arsenal and at London. Yippee-i-a. But I think, is he talking about Nico Pepe? Must have been. <laughs> so come on. Come into the live chat. Come on, we're here. You know, I'm probably going to run for another... I always say that, and I'll run for another five or ten minutes. And the next one, it's almost an hour. It's almost an hour. So another five, ten minutes... Let's just wait and see. Let's wait and see. <laughs> Therapy, rehab, detox, and more is going to be rough. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Come on, people. Come on. I want to see. So I want to, again, 80% of me doing a show means I have the interaction. I've got the questions. I've got the comments in the live chat. And I can respond to that. And when I've had enough, I'll let you know I've had enough. I will let you know what I've had enough. But come on, let's talk about Edu. Edu's comments about players who who are doing it. There's no problem. They're high level wages, but they're, they're producing on the pitch. But there's not that's not many then, is it? That's not many. But when it comes to players who are like 26 plus, they're not producing, but they're on a high level of wages, they're killing the club. They're killing the club. Um, I said from the, the I said the morning show, but early afternoon show, right? But Edu, you've been here for three years, man. What have you been doing? It's only now you realise that that some players have been taking the pee. You've only realised it now. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, Leno for cheap, better in for cheap, uh, cheaper. Uh, Toreda for zero. I saw your comment responding to somebody who said, uh. All oh, right, so like this club, I can't remember which club it was. I've started their bidding at zero. Is that what it's going to come to? Actually, didn't didn't Edu say that? I think it said if it means we have to pay the players' contract just to get rid of them, it might come to that with Lucas Torreira, even more so Hector Bellerin, and maybe Pablo Mari. Oh, we're just giving the money away, aren't we? Just give the money away, man. I think we should have gotten a uh, better core who <laughs> is a Brazilian. <laughs> is a Brazilian who formerly played for Barcelona. Actually, I read somewhere that he said ideally he would like to go back to Barcelona. Not so much stay at Uve, not so much go to Arsenal, but what I've read, <laughs> also are quite close to sealing the deal. And the deal is it would be a long, a, a, a season-long loan deal with an option to make it permanent. But whereas the player said, ideally, he would like to go back to uh, Barcelona. <laughs> Who is Melo? Oh, you know, I've been checking out the videos I did about Arta Melo. I mean, I know kind of, I've been killing it with like uploads, I put uploads of um, Cody Gappo and Yuri Tillemans, but I did, I did, yeah, Artemelo. 
Go and check out my video. It's 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 come live already, at least three times already. Just in case you missed it, I might do it again. Right, so come on, come in the live chat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The 39 of you watching me just talk about Arsenal. Does it mean I might have to end the show? Possibly. I might have to end the show sooner rather than later. So what I'm going to do, because now it's just jumped up to 46 of you now watching. Come in the live chat. Let me know your marks out of 10 for this transfer window. If you came in with a five, is it now a six or a seven? Or has it gone in the other direction? Are you going down now? I don't know. Let me know. Come into the live chat, okay? Also, let me know your thoughts about Edu and also about the game behind closed doors. We lost 2-1. But who scored? The player who wears number 14. Yeah, he scored. <laughs> That's going to upset a lot of people. Now, isn't it? Oh, Alex, how dare you mention that? Well, yeah. Is it... Is it not true? Nketiah, where's the number 14? It's fact. It's fact that he scored against Brentford, but we lost 2-1. We lost 2-1. <laughs> uh, dearie me. Uh, oh, there we go. If Ed was talking about uh, talking of wages, it's to do uh, the Cronkies bidding. Send out a gopher this go for <laughs> Amelo, uh, they they could have had this uh, same deal in January, but Arsenal rejected it. Yes, they did. They did. And if only you could turn back the clock and go back to January, and Arsenal went after certain players, got them in, and also got rid of some players. We wouldn't have been so top-heavy. So top-heavy? The demand now is so great in this transfer window. I mean, I've got five signings. Okay, you need to keep going. We need five additional more players. Systematically, uh, they have pushed out high wages since Arteta lowered the standards when he lowered the standards. Uh, Spursy, come on, man. <laughs> Chat on 40 plus here, nine. Show Alex the love. Click and remember, does it, maybe maybe they are showing me the love. Maybe they don't love me that much, DWTT. That's what it is. That is what it is. Or maybe they need reminding that they must press the like button. And also, apart from that, they must subscribe like it says. Oh, it doesn't say that. It says DWTT. It doesn't say subscribe, <laughs> but they must subscribe to Canon 4 TV. <laughs> now it says you've got to subscribe. It says down there, doesn't it? It says that you've got to subscribe. You've got to subscribe. So just a few more before I do um, review the news of today from Canon Foy TV's perspective, at least. And we will go back into the voting and see where we, we are at. The question we put out is, who do you think is going to be the next sign-in, the most likely sign-in? In this transfer window, could it be Lucas Paqueta? I'm going to try to do this from memory now. Lucas Paqueta, Yuri Tillemans, Artemelo, or Leroy Sani. Hey, hey, I remembered it. Four, four players. You might have your own opinion, so put it in the comments there. But come into the live chat and let me know. You know, who do you think Arsenal might or might not sign? Marks out at ten, as well as Edu's comments about players who are killing it and not performing because life is so wonderful in London. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, I think we've got some comments on our Twitter. Our Twitter. No, we don't. <laughs> it's just DWT has just, just retweeted uh, that the fact that we are live here on Canon for TV. All right. Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What's, what's, what is this? What is this? Okay, nothing to do with Arsenal related. Get back to that so we can get into this. Okay. Right. So I think what I will do, let me review the news of today in, in its shortest format possible. And like we mentioned, yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, Edu, there's a little bit of a parting of, of, of thoughts here between himself and Miko Arteta. And Edu just, you know, shot from the hips, man. God, dearie me. He said that, 
if a guy is performing and has a big salary, that's not a problem. When the player is 26 plus, big salary and not performing, he's killing you. You don't have a valuation to sell the player. The player is comfortable. Arsenal, London, beautiful. Everything is fantastic and a good salary. So, again, he didn't mention any uh, players by name because he does actually say um, that there are at least <laughs> other players who might fit that profile. But I'm looking at right at Pepe. He fits that profile right there. He's now 27 years of age. 27 years of age. Has been killing it, but not on the pitch. <laughs> He's been caning it, but not on the pitch. But yet he said himself, you know, I've worked hard during the summer. I've changed a lot of things. I'm focused and determined with Arsenal and my teammates. I was thinking, bro, you need to show it on the pitch. Show, fool me once, fool me twice, fool me three times, you're out the door. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, dear. And then we spoke about, I know these are not the players. This is Edu and Arteta. But we spoke about, in shortest uh, terms, about the players... Those to go, and I'm just going to name them, Ainsley Mettner, Niles, Hector Bellerin, Reese Nelson, not, not for me, Reese Nelson, I will keep, Flo Badigan, most likely go out on loan, Pablo Mane has got to be shown the door, but Leno will be leaving quite soon, and Lucas Torreira. Are you going to add any more players to that list? I'm going to think of one already, Granit Xhaka. No, I'm not picking on him. I'm not picking on him. So um, these have been the new segments in the shortest form possible. And, of course, you may or may not know that Arsenal are playing behind closed doors. Ooh, against Brentford. And as you can see there, Arsenal lost 2-1. A friendly behind closed doors. Who scored? The player wearing the number 14 shirt. Hey, hey, hey. But you look at, the, look, look at the 11. It wasn't the strongest of 11s, was it? So come on. Come on. I hope no one is upset about the fact that we lost <laughs> behind closed doors. Don't get upset. It was only a game. Only a game. Okay. Uh, I've been going to go into this last comments uh, before I wrap this one up. And let's see how far we get with this one. Uh, <laughs> lost to Brentford. Uh, does that mean the... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Looks like a, a cheeky dig. Never. <laughs> uh, lots of Brentford, but if you read the match report, Arsenal played much better in the second half. Brentford had to make uh, many uh, many saves. Brentford, uh, I, I take a performance over result on most days. Yeah, it's just I don't, I don't read too much in that man. Again, look at the, look at the players that played there. I went to the builder's merchants and asked for a long wait. He left me standing there waiting for... <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Uh, that £60 million for Rafina. Uh, why are we still giving us a long wait on the midfield base? <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Uh, can you remember what I said uh, to you the other day before Edu came out with uh, the statement about Pepe? I don't remember, Lynn. Remind me, what did you say? What did you say? If Edu is talking, uh, taking shots at Pepe, he should definitely speak uh, to his co-defendant, co Arteta, about un un underutilising the entire squad. God's power, good afternoon, good evening, says, uh, why are the fans so quick to comment? Uh, no... I don't know what you mean there. Because they lost to Brentford in a pre-season match with players who could not see, could not see the bench. Clucking bell. Good evening. Good afternoon to you. Because I think you're out in the states. According to our part-time invincible head, <laughs> part-time. <laughs> Do you know what? I know. I, I inquired two seasons ago. Two seasons ago, I sent an email to Arsenal. And it ended up in, what was it? Was it the, not the compliance department? I can't remember where it, where it ended up. And the woman, I can fish out the email. The woman said, thank you. We, we have received your email. 
uh, your request for, for Mr. Gaspar to appear on your channel. If it is of any use, you will hear from us. If no, no, actually, no, she didn't say if not. She said, if it's any use, you will hear from us. Two seasons on, I'm still waiting to hear from Mr. Gaspar, Mr. Edu Gaspar. So I guess we've got comments on how I'm taking the mickey out of him. <laughs> He's not going to want to come on Canon for your TV, which is fair enough. Uh, we're only halfway through the process, so three more years and another 400 million squid, and Arteta may finally finish in the top four, but I doubt it. Dear <laughs> uh, Clackerbell, I hope not. Edu won't last three years from now, and we find it uh, competing with City and Liverpool. <sighs> Great last one. You've got to have a laugh, man. Life's too short. It's too short. All right, Lynn now is going to remind me. I said about how uh, comfortable he was taking a salary. Ah, okay. And he wasn't that bothered looking for another club due to he knew he wouldn't get the salary. So are we are we saying now that Project Pepe is at an end? And I'm looking at the three protagonists. I'm looking at Per Mertesaka, who spoke two weeks ago when he actually said that he took the senior squad for, for coaching. And he said, he, when he looked at Nico Pepe, he said, look, this guy's got bags of potential. But we only need to give him a chance to, to see it in the first team. I'm like, okay, fair enough. And then you've got Arteta, who has given Pepe, I think, enough rope to hang himself. I don't want to, sorry to use that term there, but he's given Pepe enough, enough opportunities. And he's falling flat on his face. And then you've got Edu coming up with this comment here. And the comment is a perfect profile. The perfect profile. The age and what he's not being producing on the pitch fits Nico Pepe's profile to a T. So could it be now the end is literally nigh for, for Pepe? No. I, I mean, I can't think where else he's going to go to. I know he's been linked with a move to Everton, a move to Newcastle. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen to Nico Pepe. But he said that he's he's changed something. He's been working hard during the summer. Anyway. Uh, Pepe Bedouin is still here after all, all, all this, you mean. One has said they want to leave, and the other one is just still thinking about it. But yet we give these players... In Edu's words, who have not been performing, we both give them plane tickets to fly out to the States. Better still, give those two tickets to two under-23s and see how they get on. Only Arsenal would do that. Only Arsenal would do that. Since so not versatile enough to play at, at Brentford, no wonder City were paying him only 20k a week. Do you know what? I think we've come to an end. <laughs> we've come to an end on this one. Oh, my goodness. It's been just one of those days. One of those days. I think that's a song, isn't it? One of those days. Oh, goodness. All right. Who sent me an email? Uh, sent me an email. Yeah. Oh, oh, KFC sent me an email. No, thank you. <laughs> and people sending me messages. People, don't you realize I'm live on air? I'm live on air. All right, okay, we, we have, we've come to an end on this one. I'm going to read this one very, very quickly, and then we're going to finish the evening show here. Arsenal isn't producing. Edu and co. aren't producing in the transfer market massively, underperforming, not producing in the season. Edu has a cheek to speak out in public. <sighs> Anyhow, we've come to an end. We've come to an end. I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you. I think we just topped it up 50, 50 live viewers at any one time. Thank you to you for that, because if there wasn't you, there wouldn't be an us. Without us, there wouldn't be a you. A symbiotic uh, relationship here. One cannot exist without the other. It can't happen. And at least over here in Canafoy TV, which is why I'm always giving gratitude. Now, we had some silly spamming in the live chat on the morning show. And I've got my three two moderators who did a wonderful job. 
So thank you for moder my moderators. Ashidi, again, Ashidi just fell off. He, he went to sleep. But DWTT held the fort. Thank you, DWTT. The check will be in the post. The check will be in the post. <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, I will, most likely will be back uh, tomorrow. I've also been asked to appear on another channel to, to, to do another collaboration. I've got to see what the boss says. And I'm also hoping to hear a phone call from my agency about a placement uh, during the summer holidays. So if I do a live show, it most, most likely will be early doors, 10 a.m., not 11 a.m., 10 a.m., early doors. So make sure you set your alarms. Actually, better still, subscribe. That's all you've got to do. Just subscribe. Big checks. What's it? Yeah, um, it'll be a check. <laughs> it'll be a check. <laughs> Big check. I've got to clear it with the boss first. You know how it is, DWTT man. You know how it is. All right, uh, we're finished here. Again, a last thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, okay, and, and, and that's it. Uh, continue to vote on the poll. Which player do you think is going to be the most likely next sign in for Arsenal? Let me see if I can do this from memory now. Lucas Paqueta, Yuri Tillemans, Arthur Mello, or Leroy Sane? Well, actually, I forgot to put um, Cody Gas uh, Gakpo. It could be, I'm not sure. Continue to vote. Uh, until then, I'm going to bid you farewell and say uh, thank you for tuning in for, again, the second live show today on Wednesday. And this has come to an end. This, Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. <laughs>